Hi everyone, welcome to the RPP Resonance Chemistry. Now, I'll continue my lectures on the carbohydrate series part number 5. Okay, in previous cases, I'll dis I had discussed like a glucose structure elucidation as well as their reactions, etc. In this session, we will discuss the like a cyclic structures of glucose, cyclic projection that is a Haworth projection, chair conformation, like a Fisher projection, ML Fisher projection. Okay, so now let us let us look on the board. Now here these type of questions uh, generally are came in the like um, uh, CSIR, GATE, JAM, JE mains, NEET uh, exams. Whenever these type of questions appears in the, our exam, so the students are surrounded. That means uh, so I don't do these type of questions. Okay, so whenever these type of questions appears in the exam, so the students uh, their mindset is uh, so I I did not solve these type of questions. So here it is the difficult. Structure. Structures. I don't know the original structure of the molecule. So where where it is reacted, where it is uh, approached. Okay. So those type of questions are run in their mind. Okay. So after watching this video, you will uh, change your mindset on these type of problems. Okay. Now let us move on to the topic. So now here I'll explain the each and every structure from Fisher to Haworth, Haworth to cyclic projection. Let us look on that uh, very easier method. Okay. Now here we don't know that these structures, whether it is uh, glucose or fructose, uh, arbenose or mannose, whatever the uh, like uh, saccharides. So we don't know. So let us move on to them. So now here the glucose structure. Okay, this is the open chain structure. Some of the reactions, so they didn't obey the uh, open chain structure form of the glucose. So that's why we will go through the like a cyclic structure here. The lone pairs of the fifth carbon attached to oxygen. So now here it forms the two types of isomers. Okay, now here if OH is right side, so let us assume here it is OH is right side, H is left side. Now here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like it is a sixth carbon atom. Okay, now here hydrogen, so this is the atom, HOH, 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 okay, so this is the, if it uh, OH is right side, then it is alpha isomer, this is simply called as glucopyranose, we don't know the pyron ring, okay, we don't know that, so they are generally pyron rings are nothing but, uh, here it is the compound, okay, Six membered, six membered oxy, oxocyclic rings, oxycyclic rings or pyrans. Okay, here it is pyran. So, in case of a five membered ring, we know that uh, it is furan. Okay, so pyran type containing saccharides are called pyranose. Why? Because here it is the it is came from the glucose, that's why it is simply alpha D glucose. Okay, alpha D glucose. Okay, but it is in the form of pyran, that's why alpha D glucopyranose. Alpha D glucopyranose. Now, however, these type of compounds it forms the, like the this type of compound, this type of aldehyde. Okay, now here one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms. Six one is oxygen atom. It forms the this type of six membered ring. Okay, now here OH, O. This is the compound. So that is that is a hemiacetal structure. Hemiacetal structure. In previous case, we will discuss the hemiacetal and acetal structures. Now, in case of uh, like uh, these type of molecules. Here it produces the like a hemiacetal of furan compounds, so furanose rings, hemiacetal of furanose rings. So based on that, we will discuss the like a Haworth projection of alpha isomer, Haworth projection of alpha isomer. Okay, now let us move on to the Haworth projection. Haworth projection of uh, saccharides. Now here we are discussed, this is the D-glucose. Here it is the D-glucose structure. So whenever these type of glucose structures uh, can be written like a Haworth projection, that means uh, here uh, this is the like open chain structure of glucose, open chain structure of the glucose. Here these oxygen th that is alcohol, uh, C5 attached alcohol will attack over the carbonyl compound. That means uh, here this is the compound. 
okay here it is the compound here it is the double bond o here it is the double bond o here oh so this is the 1 2 3 4 5 5 uh, sorry here it is the 1 2 3 4 5 5 so fifth position attached alcohol fifth position attached alcohol can attach the like a nucleophilic addition here it forms the these type of hemiacetal we will discuss in previous case here it forms the hemiacetal that means uh, so oxygen atom placed at the right side of right side corner of the hexagon right side corner of the hexagon now here oxygen will forms the like two types of isomers whenever these al uh, these alcohol attached uh, uh, lone pair of alcohol lone pair of oxygen will attack over the electrophilic center of carbonyl compound in that case so carbonyl will shifted either back either down side of the group ring or up side of the ring now here it, in this case we will discuss the down side of the ring so uh, another case here it may be appears like up side of the ring okay so if down side and up side rings are nothing but alpha and d beta isomers alpha and beta isomers now let us move on to the uh, very simple trick regarding to the these type of structures okay now we know that uh, we have uh, very familiar with the that milk okay we know that milk like butter milk okay curd like a cheese those type of uh, uh, materials of the milk milk derivatives okay so now here among them curd is very uh, beautiful in taste okay so generally everyone are uh, knowing that curd okay so instead of c i would like to change this l that is l u r d lord so instead of c i substituted the l word l word that is nothing but lord so in case of curd we know that but lord means here it is the avarth projection rule so simple very simple trick regarding to them okay l means left u means up r means right d means down so very simple trick left up right down left up right down in case of oh group is left side then it is uh, uh, then it is placed at the like a cyclic ring uh, up, up, upside position if oh group is in the right side then it up, uh, then place at the bottom side of the ring okay now let us move on to the like a pyranose ring it is a hexagon of the compound so in a hexagon so oxygen atom placed at the uh, top corner right side corner of the hexagon again here it is the like a glycosidic bond so here it may be forms the like a oh okay here it is the alpha isomer oh is the right side so according to our rule right side carbon is nothing but down right down or left up now our oh is right side that's why i would like to write the oh group on bottom h group is on top okay now here it is the oxygen atom is the like a, a least number now here the numbering is 1 Two, three, four, five. Here, uh, sixth carbon atom is there. Always CH two OH. Bottom of this CH two OH. Always stop at the Haworth projection. Okay. Now here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Sixth position always placed at the top of the position. Now fifth attached oxygen atom is our sixth number of six uh, six member cyclic ring. Okay. Now here among them second position, second position having the right side OH that indicates right down. third position having the left side oh so that indicates upside oh fourth position it is a like a right side then it is also down position then it is also down side okay now the fifth position ch2 oh always present at the top of the position so this is the simplest haworth projection haworth projection of alpha d glucopyranose alpha d gluco pyranose in case of beta d gluco that is nothing but here only so the oh oh is only changed oh top side then it is beta isomer so the remaining all are same the remaining all are same okay this is the alpha isomer this is the beta d gluco pyranose beta d gluco pyranose okay. now these two are the alpha and d uh, glucopyranose structures alpha and d glucopyranose structures of the haworth projection so from the haworth projection we will convert the haworth to chair conformation haworth to chair conformation so in case of chair top of the position occupied by the oxygen atom so top of the position occupied by the oxygen atom okay 
so now here it is the like a simple chain of information about the like uh, any type of uh, carbohydrates that is aldo exoses so mainly aldo exoses now here in it, it is uh, obvious that uh, downside of the downside of the avot groups are always down upside of the avot groups are always uh, up okay either it is uh, axial or uh, equatorial doesn't matter so if here it present at the top, uh, bottom of the position it appears always bottom whether it is a axial position or a, a equatorial position doesn't matter okay now here it is the oxygen so the first carbon having the bottom side of the OH that indicates uh, here bottom side that is nothing but a axial position okay now in second case here is a, it is also bottom side so here the bottom side equatorial position not the axial okay now here uh, th third position one two three third position is over now here the fourth position okay here one two third position third position is upside so upside here it is equatorial the fourth position is downside that is also equatorial the fifth position it is always at the top of the position top of the position this is nothing but uh, our alpha isomer of the d glucopyranose d glucopyranose however these type of uh, like compounds will appear these uh, like uh, a thick line a thick line here this is the uh, dotted line that indicates here it is a planar moiety so planar moiety will place it like this so here these these three these uh, four carbon atoms now that means uh, these two carbon atoms are uh, uh, both side so these two carbon atoms are uh, uh, like uh, nearer to the uh, away uh, away from the board behind the board these, these two carb the carbon atom and oxygen atom behind the board these two atoms are uh, front of the board that indicates uh, here it is the planar molecule so the, those type of molecules will appear so like this this is d glucopyranose so alpha d glucopyranose so based on that we will convert the like a beta isomer also now here it is also like these type of compounds okay here it is also same now here the second position that is a uh, OH top side, OH top side that is equatorial position. Now the third position is OH uh, bottom that indicates here also equatorial position. Fourth is upside equatorial position. Fifth is a downside that is a uh, like equatorial position. Seventh is a uh, equatorial position. So here all the groups are almost all present the OH groups, bulkier groups are almost all present at the like equatorial position. Now here it is the beta D glucopyranose. Beta D -gluco pyranose structure in cyclic conformation so sometimes so we are aware about these type of structures we can convert any type any complex any saccharides to the like havert or cyclic projection but they are asking about uh, the stability of alpha and beta d glucoses we know that every structure we can convert the like a uh, uh, cyclic fisher uh, fisher projection to havert havert projection to like our uh, like a uh, cyclic projection that is chain conformation but we don't know the stability of those compounds so among them all alpha isomer and beta isomer among these two which isomer is more stable we don't know okay so if we don't know the stability of the compounds we, we will easily lose their marks okay loss of marks okay the, uh, that's why here among these two which is more stable very simple trick okay very simple thing here OH group is it is a glycosidic bond here it is the glycosidic OH okay now those glycosidic uh, here glycosidic carbon so glycosidic carbon having the oxygen atom so that is OH now in this case of alpha isomer O and OH groups are trans O and OH groups are trans in case of beta isomer both are cis okay so the trans and cis stability cannot explain by the Havert projection yeah. now here the stability of alpha and beta d glucose is very simple thing here the alpha glucose having here it is the glycosidic bond we are discussed the glycosidic bond in alpha isomer here it is the bottom side now here it is the top side so in alpha isomers uh, the stability of compounds or we cannot explain by the how the projection but uh chair conformation it is explained so axial positions are unstable than the equatorial position we know that now here glycosidic oh present at the axial position now in case of beta isomer it is present at the beta like uh, equatorial position so equatorial always uh, stable than that of uh, axial that indicates equatorial position present in the beta isomer so beta is more stable than that of the alpha isomer okay so that's why whenever we which is available in like a uh, glucose which is available in like uh, alpha beta and open chain form so alpha is a uh, 24% beta is 76% Approximately uh, the, here it is the 0.02 percent. Okay, so that's why beta compound is more stable. Why? Because OH group present at the equatorial position. Now here OH group present at the uh, axial position. That's why alpha is a less stable isomer than that of the beta isomer. Okay. Now here it is very simple thing regarding to the like a conversion of uh, uh, Emil Fisher to Havert projection, Havert projections to cyclic conformation. Now let us move on to the some other examples regarding to the uh, Havert projections.
Now, in uh, like a CSR and GATE as well as a JEM mains questions, they are susceptible like this. Okay, now they are given in the like a D allows. We know that D allows structure. Okay, uh, what is the like Haworth projection about D allows? We don't know the Haworth projection of the D allows. So, D allows means that is indicates where all the groups are the same side OH, 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 like this. Here it is the CHO, here it is the CH2OH. Okay, now here these groups are uh, present over there, then it forms the like two types of isomer here also. Here it forms the two types of isomer. Now, here O, so here it is the glycosidic carbon. So, all are right side that indicates all are bottom. So according to our load rule, all are bottom position. So except CH2OH, always CH2OH present at the top of the position. Now in this case, I'll, I'll explain one more point regarding to the like our uh, like glucose isomer. Glucose, not only glucose, any isomer. Here it creates the a new glycosidic bond, a new glycosidic glycosidic carbon. That indicates here it is the like a, a chiral center, here chiral center, here it is the chiral center, here it is the chiral center. So in previous case we have the like a four chiral center. This is this is the like alpha isomer that indicates OH. Now here OH, 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 CH2 OH. So here in previous case one isomer, second, third. Fourth, that is the simplest four chiral carbons present at the like our uh, general site open chain structure form. Now here, in case of cyclic chain, here one, two, three, four car uh, four chiral centers. Among them, here it creates the new chiral center. That is the glycosidic carbon atom. That is glycosidic carbon atom is five chiral centers. That's why uh, in pre uh, fructose is having the four chiral centers. Uh, our uh, glucose is having the five chiral centers. Okay, so this is a very simple thing. Sometimes they are given in this type of structure. Now, let us examine yourself whether it is alpha isomer or it is a beta isomer. Okay, so whether it is alpha, beta, whether it is a gulose or a dalose, so uh, talose, galactose, manose, among them, which is the correct option. Let us examine yourself. If if you find the, this structure uh, nomenclature, then mention uh, our comment box. Mention below in our comment box. Okay, so uh, this is very simple thing regarding to the like a uh, conversion of pro, uh, like uh, Emil Fisher to Harvard projection, Harvard projection to cyclic cell conformation. Okay, that's all for this video. This is very helpful for the like uh, any conversion method of the carbohydrates. Thank you so much for watching.